Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you a man so feared throughout the galaxy, he doesn't speak. He wears a white jumper, a blue vest, and a pink pom-pom. It's the one, the only, Bomberman! And his little sidekick, Pommy. Yeah, Bomberman. You know, I have many questions about this very odd gaming character, but my biggest one of all has to be... What is with the pink pom-pom? But alas, that is not what this video is about. No, this video is about me introducing or maybe even jogging your memory about Bomberman's second attack for the Nintendo 64. This edition of Bomberman came out in 1992 for Japan and was called Baku Bomberman 2, literally translating to Explosive Bomberman 2. It was then released in 2000 to North America, redubbing it as Bomberman Second Attack. If you haven't guessed from the title of the game, this game's main feature is that you have a partner with Bomberman, Pommy. Pommy is kind of like a Pokemon in Bomberman, depending on what you feed him between fruits, meats, or sweets, depends on what he turns into and evolves as you progress through the game. This was super exciting and a very interesting element to the game when we were kids. You gotta remember the internet wasn't exactly an everyday household item back then. We couldn't just hop onto Google and type in Pommy Evolutions and find out exactly what he could turn into depending on what you fed him. It was very trial and error. Not only did we not know how Pommy's evolutions worked, we didn't even know how to control Bomberman. Things were not spoon-fed with tutorials like they are today. How, how, how do I controllers? Huh? Oh, you know, your buttons and such, and you, you'll figure it out. Uh... Speaking of controllers, that has to be one of the biggest problems with this game. Everything is ice level! The controls are so sensitive and so finicky. And some levels depend on you hitting a very specific switch in a very straight line that are actually kind of hard to maneuver in a 3D-like environment. But at the same time, they were very clever with their environment and how they manipulated the bomb explosions now that they had levels in a 3D-like environment. Except for when you're not expecting it and the next thing you know the flames go down and they kill you. Overall, it's a pretty average Nintendo 64 game. Bomberman meets Pommy, Pommy helps Bomberman, Bomberman meets Mysterious Girl, who gives you the goal of the entire story. I say, play it if you can. It's a flashback of the past, and the simplicity of it can be a nice change as opposed to the intensity and complicated games that we have today. B Alpha, Bravo Team, incoming sneak attack from the west, engage, engage! Airdrop, inbound, O200! Gamma Team, move 20 degrees north, go, 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 go! Yeah, there's none of that. Thanks for watching my review on Bomberman's second attack from the Nintendo 64. Be sure to check in on Tuesdays when Andrew uploads and Fridays when I, Sarah, upload. Until then, geek on! Also, here is finally one of my punishments for going 38 seconds over one of my uh, videos for Tales of Hearts R. You can, I'll put a description thingy link below so you guys can click on that if you haven't seen it yet. I had to do 38 push-ups because that was 38 seconds over, so here's a quick view of that. And hope you enjoy it, because I did not. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine,